Hey, good looking. Today's workout is my 20 minute toning cardio workout. So all you need is your body weight, a towel to wipe the sweat, and some water to take a break. You got it? Excellent, let's go. Drop the timer down to 20 seconds for our final round. You ready? Fantastic. All right, let's do some walkout push-ups to get ourselves warmed up. Feet apart, hinge to the hip joint, walk your hands all the way up, give me a push-up from the knees to the toes, and then walk yourself back. Great job, let's do it again. Push up, walk yourself back. I'm gonna give modifications throughout the workout, so don't fret. Some of the moves are a little advanced, but I will show you how you can tone it down. Last one. All right, feet apart, arms coming up to shoulder height. Give me a squat and back down. Good, when we squat, we push the bum rearward. Take a look. Bum back, neutral spine, arms lift up to shoulder height, and then press back down again. Beautiful. Here we go. Last four. Three. Two. One more. One. Now interlace the hands behind the head for me. Step back with your right foot and twist to your left. Feet together, other side. Alternating lunges, upper body twist. Torso's upright, that front knee's lined up with the toe. Oh yeah. Getting this body warmed up and ready. Last two. One more. Release. All right, take yourself down low, what we call a yoga squat. Try to keep the hands, or pardon me, the heels on the ground, and now press the hand or the elbows against the inside of the knees. Extend your left arm, reach it up and look up. Good, and you're pressing with that right elbow, pushing that knee away, opening up the hips. Back to center, other side. Look up. Center, one more each side. Up. Center, last one. Up. Center, good. Hands on the ground, pop your hips up for me, straighten the toes, lengthen the spine, and then bring the arms up, and release. All right, if you need a sip of water, do so now, because we're gonna start in about 12 seconds. All right, our start position is gonna be in a full straight arm plank. We're gonna do what's called a prone squat, and then we're gonna add a push up too. So. Get yourself situated, feet apart, and your head is past your fingertips. Now keeping the knees close to the ground, I want you to push the bum back. Press yourself forward, give me a push up. You can drop on the knees at this point, and then do it again. Prone squat, push up from the knees or the toes. You got it. Head up when you're doing that push up, make it crisp. Last few seconds. One more push up. Release. All right. We got a jump squat coming up. We're gonna go wide with the feet. Now you can jump it or not. So what I want you to do is come down, jump up. Come down, jump up. If you don't like the jump, you can make heel lift. But either way, everybody's fingertips are coming down to the ground. You kind of have almost like a frog here. <laughs> we got some plank side jumps coming up next. Oh yeah, it should be fun after this one. Last couple. Ah. Woo. Okay. We're gonna get ourselves into a plank. On the hands, on the elbows to modify. All right, now I want 
you to jump the feet in towards your left wrist and twist the body. Good. Feet back. Now on the other side. Now if you do not like jumping, step it in. Okay? No problem. But I want you to twist that body if you're jumping it in. My thighs are burning, how about you? One more. Woo! Time. Oh, Lordy. Okay, left leg. We're gonna lunge it back and then kick it forward. Okay, so lunge it back. Now bring the knee up and kick it forward. Good. Let's stay with this leg. After 40 seconds, we'll switch. If you need to modify, don't give me the kick or give me a knee up instead and practice that balance on that right side. Last one. And tie. Okay. Shake it up. Whew. We got the other leg now. You ready? You're going to step back now with the right. And go. Step back right. Good. Torso's upright. This front knee is tracking with the toe, so that means it's going straight ahead and staying in line with your ankle. Arms are up if you can. Good, nice crisp moves, okay? I love if you go fast, but just make sure it's crisp. <laughs> My balance is everywhere. I can't look at you and do this at the same time. <laughs> Done. All right, we gotta roll up with three squats. Here's the scoop. Some of you are gonna hate the roll ups. So if you hate the roll ups, just stand there and do squats. All right, here we go. Hands down by your side, bring the knees in, clap the feet, use your hands to come into a full arm, and then up. Good, now give me three squats, three. Now if you don't think you'll be able to do that roll up, just stay here and squat. All right, now come down, hands down, oh, use your core, and up. If you have tight hips like I do, you need those hands to come down to help you out. I don't want you to just fall and let gravity use, I want you to use your abs. One more. All right, come down, all the way, oh yeah. See, take it slow. And up. We'll get that, we got three rounds. All right, side plank. So, I want you to plant your wrist underneath the shoulder. Stagger your feet. Now, take this bottom leg, arm up, and kick it forward and touch. I know, hey? If that's not for you, Come down onto that elbow, all right? Bend your bottom knee, and top leg is gonna come. Okay, so that's the modified version. I got nothing really in between. <laughs> now the good news is, we'll do the other side next round. So remember what side you're on, okay? All right, we're gonna do a butt up squat. The what? Essentially, I want you to stay in a squat position, and if you can, rest your elbows on the inside of your knees. Now, press the bum up and drop it down. So you want the bum to come down low, preferably a little lower than the knees, and you wanna feel this in the glutes. And possibly the quads. It looks funny, but it's extremely effective to hit the lower body. Trust me. Last five seconds. Time. Good job. All right, reverse bridge, opposite hand and foot. Feet apart, all right. Lift your hips up as high as you can. Feet apart. 
Now extend one leg and touch it with the opposite hand and then the other side. To modify, drop the bottom in between. So give me one, two, drop, okay? Otherwise, you'll keep the bum up and keep on top. Rotate the hands out a little bit. That'll feel a little better on the wrists and possibly the shoulders. Last one. Time. All right. Last exercise, and we're going to grab some water and bring the timer down. To step out squat. So I want you to get down into a low squat, or a three-quarter squat. All right, now step out wide. Bring the feet in, squat. All right. So you're shifting side to side and dropping down a little lower with that squat. However, you're never coming out out of the squat. Told you this is a 20 minute toning workout. We are toning the legs, baby. I lost my rhythm. There we go. There's my rhythm. It's important to have rhythm. <laughs> Woo! Time. All right, grab a sip of water. We're going to turn the clock back. All right. We got 30 seconds now. Whew. We're starting with the prone squat push up. So, you ready? When you get in a straight arm plank. Feet apart, head past the fingertips. Now bend the knees, keep the knees close to the ground, and then press yourself up and push up. Again, you can go from the knees for the push up. Fingertips to the ground, jump and reach. Alternatively, heel lift. Okay, arms 
down by your side, up, and then you can go three, two, one, and down. You can go three, two, one. Straight arm plank, 
with side jumps. Remember, we're twisting the body with that side jump. Ready? Twist it, pause it, back to center. Last one. Time. Woo. Lunge with kick. Hands on the hips. All right, step back with that right foot or left. I don't care. <laughs> 20 seconds. It's too bad loving husband couldn't join us today. Oh, he would have loved this one. <laughs> Time. We've both been really sick, so he's still recovering. I was basically sick for the entire month of March. Here we go, step back. Also, during my 10 day vacation in Mexico. Woo. It was really bad. And I don't ever want to feel like that again. Last one. God. All right, roll up to three squat jumps. Anyways, poor guy, then I kind of gave him the modified version of the sickness to him. Ready, up. Now jump up, three, two, one. Roll down. Remember, you can just stay up there and do the squats. Three, two, one. Last time. Three, two, one. One. Whew. All right. In lieu of the side plank kicks, because we've done one each side. All right. I want you to go into a modified, or what I call forearm plank. Okay. And then tap your left leg out, bring it to center, and now your right. If you want to jack it out, keep the hips down low and intensify it. Go for it. Try. 
You can do it after workouts, before bed, you know, any old time. I've got one is a 15 minute after workout stretch, I call it, but you can do it anytime. Then I have another 20 minute hamstring and hip opener um, stretch routine. And then I also did up a sleepy time stretch routine. So something to help you sort of relax and get yourself set up for a very restful night's sleep. Release, other heel. But we start to appreciate flexibility and mobility when we get over the age of 40, don't we? <laughs> Drop that leg half a step, bend your rear knee only and lean forward until you get that stretch in the hamstring. Release. Hinging through the hips, I want you to inhale the arms up, exhale, forward fold, fingertips to the ground, head drops, and breathe. Flatten your spine, hands come up to mid shin, look up, and now inhale the arms up over the body, exhale, pull them down to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, man. My quads are done. Good job.